What's up everybody, this is BS for Build. I'm Chris, we're here today working on the Lotus Evora and we have some problems. We have some serious problems, but all problems can be fixed one way or another. So what we're gonna do today is talk about the problems that we have. I'm gonna solicit some feedback from you guys, the viewers, to help me solve those problems. And then we're gonna just continue working on the car in general. Uh, after we identify those problems, we're just gonna do whatever we can to move the build a little bit forward down the road that it can't be on because it doesn't doesn't drive yet has no roof all right guys so we have a lot of problems and they're not my fault none of them are my fault they're all lotus's fault right right here's one thing i don't know how to tell you guys all these problems without sounding like a whiny little bitch uh, I'm not whining here. I feel very fortunate. I can't thank you guys enough for all the support. I'm having a great time and this car is going to get finished. But I want to let you guys know what's going on and also kind of help show that everybody lands in roadblocks when you're doing a build. I Basically every single build I've ever done, you hit a roadblock where it's like, man, I just want to pack up shop, go home, maybe come back in a month. But then one month turns into two months, two months turns into three months. And then you have a Mustang sitting in your backyard for a year and a half. So I hear, I don't know. So anyways, please don't take this as me whining or complaining. This is just me letting you guys know what I've learned uh, since the last like two days ago when we were filming last. Uh, let's talk about these, these bad boys. Bow, 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 bow. Side panels, all right, we have damage right here on the bottom and we have damage up here on the top. The rear one has a lot of damage in the rear corner, which is like a structural thing to line the car up right with the rear bulkhead and it has damage in the frame really badly. Um, those could be uh, repaired, I think, for about a thousand bucks a piece. Probably two thousand bucks we get them both repaired. But here's the deal. We can't remove them from the car. Here's what it says in the Lotus documentation. In some cases, it may be necessary to remove another panel. Oh, right, wrong, wrong sentence. It is not generally economic to attempt to remove a bonded panel intact for later refitment. Is that British? Angry British. Anyways, what they're saying is um, it's not generally economic to try and remove this bad boy um, in one piece. And by saying it's not generally economic, what they mean is it's not possible. Uh, they probably mean you'd have to like cut the rest of the car away from it and take a small chisel and chisel the rest of the car away. So side panels don't come off in one piece is what that's saying. That was um, from a body damage repair document published by Lotus. So. Problem number one is it looks like, although I would like to repair these side pieces, they just don't come off in one piece and they can't be repaired on the car right now. There's no way that you could get scope and that you could get correct angles and then you could do quality work with them being on the car and the, the way they are right now. I'm not gonna say there's no way. There's brilliant fiberglass guys out there all over the place, but all the ones in my city won't even respond to my emails, calls, whatever. I've literally called people and they're like, yeah, send us pictures. And I send them pictures and then they just go, hey, we're not responding at all. And they don't answer my phone calls anymore. It's, it's literally at that level. They want to fix like a crack in a car for $700. They don't want to fix a car on a car uh, for a reasonable price. So new side panels, they cost 2.2K each and a little bit of shipping fees. There's some in California. We're in Oregon. That's about a thousand miles away, depending on where they are in California. Um, looks like we got to get new side panels. So that's kind of a bummer. I really wanted to repair these side panels. I really wanted to save the 4.4K plus shipping because um, it just seems a little absurd to me. But I don't think we can pull them off without killing them. So that's problem number one. Kind of an easy problem because we can solve it with money. You can always print more money or something. Anyways, moving on to problem number two. The second problem that I have is quite cute. Uh, if you guys will remember in the last episode, I was sitting there lecturing something like bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I should take care of this roof. I shouldn't cut it into pieces like this. Shouldn't cut it into six pieces like this. Because there was like a small chance that Lotus wouldn't have the roof in stock. Now, when I said that, I was kind of bullshitting because what are the odds that they wouldn't have a roof in stock? But I knew that they didn't have any more front bumpers in stock and they had no estimated time of arrival for the front bumper. So I knew it was a, I knew it was a chance, but really no roof panels? I mean, how many people need a new roof, right? Well, I emailed Lotus. 
I mean, to, you know, yesterday I emailed Lotus trying to get all of these parts, of course. That's how I'm finding out about a lot of these things. I emailed Lotus. I said, hey, I need a new roof. It's the estimated time of arrival. And they said, eh, we don't know. Never. We have no estimated time of arrival for roofs to be produced in the UK. There are none in the United States, and there's no estimated time of arrival in the UK, meaning that there are no roofs for this car. This is where you guys could help out. I am I'm soliciting help from you guys, the viewers. Let's look all around the world. We have viewers, I know this, I've shipped you guys merchandise literally all around the world. Let's look all around the world, find a white Lotus Evora and steal their roof. No, I'm kidding. Um, but let's, let's check out uh, everybody. Do me a favor. If you feel like it, let's look for a roof. I, there, we're all gonna find the carbon fiber roofs that are made by that company. If anybody knows that company and they wanna sponsor this build, let's hit them up. I'm down to do that. I'm desperate, I need a roof. I'll tattoo their logo on my ass. But I'm not gonna pay 4.5K for a carbon fiber roof. But let's try and get a roof. Let's harass Lotus, let's do that. One of you guys in the UK, throw sausages or whatever you guys do at them. And um, also, you know, let's do whatever we can. If we can find a used roof anywhere that's been peeled off um, and they're better than me at peeling, I'll buy that roof. But we need to find a roof because Lotus doesn't make any new roofs and I cut mine into seven pieces. And then if we don't find a new roof, then I'll get that one fiberglass repaired. But that would be very embarrassing. That would just be a bummer. <laughs> the roof, who doesn't have a roof? All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, and for the end of my rant, rear quarter glass right hand. When I do buy my new $2,000 fancy fiberglass panel, they don't make any new glass to put in this place. All the glass on this car was destroyed in the wreck. Actually pretty impressive how they managed to destroy literally every single piece of glass. That was fancy. I think the whole car did a sandwiching effect and just all the glass. Anyways, glass, uh, rear quarter panel, right hand. If anybody can find this online, I'll buy it for any reasonable price. If not, I guess I'll just build it out of plexiglass for the time being until Lotus decides to make more glass. This reminds me of when Jeremy Clarkson was on the Arctic Adventure and was like, Jenkins, you imbecile! That's how I feel about that. So, you know, heads up to Lotus. Make more than five extra pieces of each car. That'd be great. It's great for the future. But in the time being, <laughs> well, I guess we're getting rid of this panel now. Ooh, toasty. All right, enough fooling around. It's time to get down to work. Luckily, the temperature lowered down in the shop enough that I can uh, wear this jacket that'll keep some of the fiberglass off of me and I'll get some gloves and my respirator on. I'm just gonna start making big cuts to start removing as much of these panels as I can and, uh, and find out more stuff about these. Um, unfortunately, one piece of bad news is I came down with a cold, so I'm pretty sick. Um, so I'm just gonna work away and get as much done as I can tonight. But if the episode comes out short, I do apologize. I, uh, I can't control when I, when I catch a cold. It's a bummer, but especially because we got a lot of fun stuff coming up. But uh, I'll just crank away at this all night and see how far we go. Let's get to it. I apologize, I have to have my mask on in here. There's too many uh, dust particles, but let me let me show you around. So I've cut a lot of that bottom panel part off. Um, and then coming in here, so there's like an outer skin and an inner skin. You can see I've trimmed both of those away pretty, pretty substantially. And then right here is where just, I've left the plastic that attaches to the bulkhead. And uh, I'll come back another time when I'm feeling particularly strong in the arms to uh, use the wire cutter and cut through all that. 
So here's our, our, that's your main roll bar through there, and that's like where the door um, bolts into, the door uh, striker. So this is actually all coming off, uh, you know, pretty, pretty good. When you cut it into pieces, it's not that, it's not as hard. So um, that's good for this side, I feel like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the other side and uh, do the same thing over there. All right guys, so that's a wrap on removing the majority of that passenger side panel. Uh, you can see we got the majority of the kick plate done uh, and pulled off. Uh, the stuff that's on the bottom bolts into the uh, lower uh, skid plate thing, so we'll, we'll carefully take that off when the time comes. We have a little strip running up the, side bol the rear bulkhead, which we'll um, remove when we remove the bulkhead. You can see where our windshield frame uh, ends, and then the looking very bare. This is the most torn down that this car will be in its lifetime. It's not going to get much more torn down from here. So in the front right here, you can see this, this stuff that um, the door kind of, it's, it's attaching on the door. All this white that I'm showing you right here, that is all actually part of the side too and that'll need to come off. That runs right up here along the windshield frame. That's actually still part of the side panel and that will come off uh, at a later time. That's just the really technical hard part I wanted to Try and take some of the easy stuff off for tonight. All right, guys. Well, that's a wrap on body panel teardown uh, for the Evora today. Uh, that was a lot of fun. It actually went a lot faster than I thought it was. Uh, being able to use that cutting tool and just cut everything to bits was a lot better than using the wire saw and trying to save stuff. So that went a lot faster than I planned. The side removal is not quite done. There's more to do, but it's really far along now. So we've got a ton of parts being ordered. You'll remember earlier in the episode, I mentioned the roof since that was yesterday, uh, since then, um, I did get a hold of somebody on the factory line at uh, Lotus and they will make me one there in the UK it'd be about $1,170 but the ones here in the US sell for about $670. If we can find one cheaper than $1,170 somebody let me know. If not I'll just in the next few days be ordering a roof uh, straight from the UK. They'll make me one up it'll be all fresh and new and then they'll ship it down here. Over here? Over here. So uh, that's the status. Uh, I don't think we're held up on any other crucial parts, so I'm very happy about that. Um, and everything's progressing along. There may be some lag time on this series, guys, because sometimes, you know, it could take a while for parts to come from the UK. I got parts coming from Malaysia. I got parts coming from the UK. You know, we're going to keep working, though. There's, there's stuff to do. We have to fix that bulkhead. They don't make the bulkhead anymore. So we have to fix that. That will be fun. Fiberglass, and it's not that hard, and it's not that... Um, crucial or whatever so that's going to be a fun project and th there's lots more to come but we're rolling around at the 100,000 subscriber mark we have a very very uh special episode uh coming up soon to celebrate that and i'm very excited so the lotus is going to go on pause to do that um and damn i am so excited it is really really fun we're definitely pushing the limits of uh, what we can do or just going to fail which will be hilarious so little little uh, teaser for that. It's gonna be awesome. That'll be this next weekend's episode, and we'll explain all about it then. Um, I hope I covered all the bases. I think that's it. Uh, remember to wear respirators, guys. That was a big thing that I had to do today. You'll see that in the video. I went through three different ones, just constantly upgrading. Uh, I have a cold, so definitely don't want to add different crap into my lungs. But uh, yeah, so wear respirators when you're working with fiberglass. It's important. Um, other than that, I think that's it. You can find us on social media at facebook.com slash BS for build and we are BS for build on Instagram. Our website is BS for build.com. Got all sorts of great merchandise on there. If you guys would like to support, go to BS for build.com. Scroll down to the shop. There's all sorts of great stuff. The Lotus Evora shirt is still on pre sale for just a few more days. So if you want to get in on that pre sale, you get a free lanyard, free large decal, and a free small decal like you see that I lit on fire there earlier in the episode. Those will all come with your shirt. 
uh, if you buy it while it's still on pre-sale. If you don't catch it while it's still on pre-sale, you won't get all that awesome stuff. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time. Sorry about all the whining in the beginning of the episode, but I wanted to let you guys know what's up. Uh, very excited for this next episode this weekend. So please remember to like and subscribe. Oh yeah, please remember to subscribe because uh, our 100,000 subscriber celebration is going to be really lame if we're at not 100,000. So <laughs> remember to like and subscribe, guys. Peace. Here we go. Yeah.